Oh. <laughs> Currently we are at Chapel Racing Headquarters. We are working on the car, putting it together, finalizing everything, you know, the final alignment, ride height, getting those uh, last touches on it before it gets the uh, pretty wrap that we're uh, gonna put over it. We're also getting the uh, brand new 2021 Can-Am ready to uh, go pre-run. Pretty soon, we're gonna head out on our way to San Felipe, actually, I'm sorry, Mexicali, and then we're gonna pre-run the second section of the course, race mile 157, all the way down to race mile 360 or so, and uh, call it the end of day pre one. hopefully, uh, so, we're gonna get out of here and head to Mexico and loving those tacos too. So what you have here is a failure to replace tires before they turn six years old. Those tires are almost as old as my oldest kid. <laughs> so they were hopping like a madman down the road. We're here at Tractor Trailer Supply in Yuma. A little bit of pit support on the trailer before we make it into Mexico and we'll get there soon. It's like one gallon per three minutes now. The uh, diesel pump is pumping gas at one gallon per 14 minutes, I think. So we've been here for probably 20 minutes. We've gotten at least two gallons so far. pre-run uh, we're at race mile 310 of the course we're about uh, 15 miles or so from San Felipe we're ready to get back there eat some tacos it was a it was a roller coaster of a ride we uh, started off with uh, some flats the good thing about BFGs is they only go flat on the bottom <laughs> I think we got the car up to 98 miles an hour don't let Ernest don't know and then uh, we you know we cruised through the mountains it got really rocky really technical it was uh it was a fun run through there and uh, Parker held together. There was no throwing up in the car. <laughs> and uh, Mike did really good, you know, it was actually pretty hard to keep up with him there for, for a little bit. I did get yelled at for driving the brand new car too fast and hitting too, hitting a little bit of stuff at uh, high speed, but it was a lot of fun. So we're looking forward to day two and we'll see you there. Uh, finished up day one, uh, love that last section. Kind of pushing up the pace a little bit kind of test see if we can get to race pace felt pretty good kind of the faster we went the smoother it got so that that was kind of cool so ended up the day all right I'm out. Nesto, how do you feel about this race well you know i feel we have a pretty good chance of getting first place and just as long as they don't put the trophy up too high chapel can't reach <laughs> did you say you needed your sunglasses i can't find them all right, so day one went pretty well. We didn't quit, go quite as far as we wanted to, but uh, we managed to get back safely into, into camp for, for the night. We're starting day two. Today we're gonna go from roughly race mile 315 
to wherever we land as far as we can make it. So uh, wish us luck. We're at race mile 398, just having fun. Day two of the pre-run, taking this 2021 Can-Am out for a good, fun run. We uh, went up the loop on the, uh, just south of San Felipe, come around, and it's just a, two washes. Nice up the wash, over, and then back down the wash. Just lots of fun, high speed section. And now we're headed out to uh, Armorillo Wash, I think is what it's called. You can make fun of me, it's okay. <laughs> and uh, we're heading back, so it's like four, 400 all the way out to 468 or something, 450, I think. And uh, so we'll, we'll check back in there. bit tired a little bit sweaty but man it was a fun run you know it got really technical we went through some washes we hit some you know we went over some boulders we uh, found some really good lines and just had a fun time out there and then when you come back into San Felipe it's you know 90 miles an hour the whole way and you're just hitting those bu bumps you know the can ams just taking those bumps like uh, crazy so big shout out to my team for Chapel Racing Team. Really appreciate everything that they're doing on this pre-run, really helping us out, keeping us uh, safe out there and definitely hydrated because man, that water, it's like a hundred and, what was it today? I don't know, 100 and, 106? I don't know Chapel, but I just gotta ask you one question. <laughs> Do you feel like you won the pre-run today? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah I definitely, it, definitely it, came in first on the pre-run. <laughs> you know how uh, when uh, coaches win, what they get celebrated with? No. <laughs> Day three pre-running, uh, just cleaned out the clutches, both pre-run cars, um, buffed them up, made sure that uh, we're going to be able to finish up this last run. The last leg is basically the first uh, mile zero to race mile 157, and uh, it's our last of three days pre-running. We've had two really successful days. Uh, couple minor issues but other than that uh, no major breakdowns and it's been going great we look to finish it up just like that today So final day three, we finished off from race mile 80 all the way here to where we're at right now, 160. It was uh, a blast. We actually hit the salt flats and just flat out, you know, did 90 for a little while. Then we had to dial it back to get the car to cool a little bit and uh, just a lot of fun, some fast sections. And then unfortunately we had uh, an incident where uh, we lost a GoPro. So. We're gonna be short a little footage on this one. Uh, yeah, that guy holding the camera right now. Um, so, but uh, we're gonna go uh, back to uh, San Felipe. Right now we're in Mexicali, head back to San Felipe, get some rest and then uh, get ready for contingency. The race car, the rest of the race car team's coming down tomorrow. So see you guys tomorrow.